Hey guys, so this is a fun way to start a vlog. We're currently out of power. Um, we have these twinkling lights giving us light right now. Um, we're freaking out a little because it's supposed to be 11 degrees tonight and we're in an RV. Thankfully, we have some awesome friends who have offered to come and let us stay with them. But we're just trying to figure out what to do, try to get our furnace to work because our furnace is not working. We don't want our pipes to freeze. That's a really big issue. Anyway, so we're just trying to figure out what to do and figure out what steps we get to take. So this is currently what we're dealing with. We have lots of blankets. The kids are underneath blankets playing games. <laughs> I'm playing Mario Kart to <laughs> We're staying warm. <laughs> so we're just figuring out how to stay warm and figuring out what to do if the power doesn't come back on to help preserve our pi pipes. Um, or if we should go to a friend's house. I don't know. Luckily, the kids have all eaten. We just had dinner and we have plenty of drinking water. Um, we did fill up our fresh tank, so we have some water in our in our RV, which is not good actually because it could freeze and then break pipes. Um, so we probably need to figure out how to like get that out without power. <laughs> oh, just hopefully it comes back on soon because this is super stressful. So if our pipes break, that would mean that we need to wait for them to get fixed, which could be a really long time. Like it could be a week, could be three weeks. We don't know. So. We might be like having to get a hotel. Uh, Mark has a friend in the Houston area who has like extend to stay hotels. So that might be something we look into. I don't know. There's a lot, a lot going through our heads right now. Sorry, you can't even see me because it's so dark. We got a text from the RV place and they said this is a rolling blackout, which means it'll only be in effect for about an hour and then the lights and everything should come back on. So we're just waiting for that to happen and hopefully that is the case. Oh, Thank you for the second. And we have power. So we have power. Our heat is not turning on now, um, but hopefully that's going to just turn back on in a second after everything kind of recharges. I don't really know how that works. I may have to go flip a breaker. Um, oh yeah, maybe a breaker flipped because we were working on... Oh, oh it's just the battery, yeah. right? Okay, so, yeah, hopefully. Here, let me. So power is back on, except we don't have any heat yet. Our furnace won't turn back on. So until then, we're just gonna watch shows in our bedroom. So it's been a couple days. We recorded that Monday night and now it's Wednesday. Um, so that night we actually struggled with the power not really heating our house. Um, the furnace did eventually turn on, but it wasn't, wasn't working very well for some reason. It was probably just because it was so cold outside. So it was a really cold night. It was okay. We were all snuggled up together. Um, at, but about five o'clock or five o'clock, the power, when it would come back on, it wasn't enough power to even turn on a space heater. So it was so cold in the RV. We finally like got out of the bed like all of us were all snuggled up in the bed at like nine o'clock no eight o'clock ish we finally just got out and went and got in the car and warmed up in the car and then we decided to go to bucky's and get hot chocolate like from our last vlog we went again Hello. and it was so busy that we there was like it was shoulder to shoulder and that place is massive it's it's huge and it was shoulder to shoulder. They were out of hot chocolate. They were out of so much stuff because everybody was there trying to get warm, trying to find, you know, something warm to drink. Anyway, so we left there and decided to go find some other places, but pretty much everything was out of power or people didn't have workers who could drive in the snow and the ice, which wasn't actually that bad. We got maybe an inch, but it wasn't even fully covering the roads at that point. Um, because it had been almost 24 hours since it had snowed. Anyway, everything's still without power because it's so cold and there's such a high demand on the power grid that the power it just wasn't keeping up. Um, so that's why they were doing the rolling blackouts, which they were doing, you know, across a lot of the country. So we finally just, um, 
we found finally found a place that had some food um, and we waited in line and it took us two hours to go through the line to get food um, and by then I was starving and not feeling well and the kids were frustrated and hungry and um, so we went home and ate um, and so today that was yesterday so today I decided to just like make things at home thankfully the power has been a lot better so it's it's on for maybe like an hour hour and a half and then only off for like 30 minutes and so it's been a lot more livable in the RV um, but so far today it has been a wreck in here the kids have just like it's just toys galore um, but I've made biscuits I'm making bone broth and soup and so I'm just cooking a lot where I've used the oven a lot today just to kind of keep things a little bit warmer in the RV um, I'm gonna show you outside real quick it's actually been raining all day um, and so you would think that would melt all the snow because it really has been like raining raining but it must have been a lot of sleet and stuff because check this out So there's a bunch of water right there, but the snow is not even all the way melted. Mark's working in the car right now, but the snow's not even all the way melted. I'm going to walk over and show you guys um, the big, huge, I, I posted about this in um, some photos. Oh, it's so cold out here, but our big huge water park thing that's here in the RV park, it was frozen because I kept water running through it um, to stop the pipes from breaking. Um, well, anyway, so it just froze all that water that was coming out. Well, then when the power was went out, then it kind of up anymore, so it instantly froze. But look at all that. Ooh, I just looked that nice. Um, here, I'm not going to walk all the way over there because I'm freezing. I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you. So there it is. And it's still covered in ice. I don't even think that the hot tub is, oh, you can kind of see some steam coming off the hot tub right there. Uh, yeah, it is freezing. Definitely not the Texas we thought it would be. Oh my gosh, I'm back inside. It is so cold. It's still kind of raining. My hair's a little wet now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is so bitter cold out there. <laughs> anyway, so that's just kind of been our life for the last couple days. Luckily, we're able to keep the RV warm now. As long as the blackouts aren't for a long time and we're able to heat the RV back up, it'll all be fine. I'm going to keep it short. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. So thanks for watching.